Hey there, friends. It's your bad couch guru, Lynn Limberg. And today I am bringing Petra Colbert back to you again. Remember, like about a week ago, we talked about confidence with her. And she's got her Confidence Catalyst program. And we just got to chit-chatting and realized she has some really valuable information that'll help dig in a little bit deeper on that topic we talk of of knowing your why. And so this this topic is so important that the more times we can hit it and the more different ways and angles we can look at it, the more it'll become alive for us. And that becomes magical in giving us motivation to get moving with a smile. So Petra, welcome back to the Couch to Active podcast. Thank you. And it's so good to be back here with you and your listeners. Thanks, Lynn. Oh, absolutely. Let's just dive right in. Talk about your why and what is helpful for our audience to know. Well, this all happened for me, Lynn, when I was still like in the throes of, you know, being a fitness leader. And then I went back to school for positive psychology and I went, oh, that's the missing link. We've been teaching people the wrong metrics and we've been giving ourselves the wrong why. So for a long time, I had created a program called Moving to Happiness. It's basically reframing the why behind your movement. Mm -hmm. And what I say to people is I'm not here to change your workout. I'm here to change why you work out. So I invite all your listeners to really consider is why is it that we would want to move more? And the traditional fitness, right? Oh, we're going to move more so we can lose weight, be in a certain gene size. And that is so, A, it's boring. And B, we talk about, you know, intrinsic motivation, the motivation that you are excited to get up. And I know for me, I've had weight issues down the past. And if I had to get up and go, oh, I have to get up today because I have 20 pounds to lose. Well, that's (laughs) not exactly very motivating. I need to fix myself. There is something very wrong with me. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) And though, Lynn, if I knew that like maybe a year from now, I was going to go to Tuscany with my girlfriends and we were going to do a cooking class. And I knew I had to, I wanted to have the energy to be able to walk up and down the hills of Tuscany. That's a very different why. Now it's not saying I might not want or need to lose 20 pounds for my health, but that now becomes a stepping stone to my dream. Mm -hmm. So it's not the end goal. So what I think went wrong, and I hope for your listeners, this is why Lynn is reminding you all the time, (laughs) when we make our body the definition of success, we're in trouble. Yeah. Our body is just the vehicle. It's Mm -hmm. a vehicle for our dreams. Mm -hmm. So for me, the definition of success is being able to live and have a body that allows me to move freely into a life of my dreams. So it really is looking at the metrics. What do you consider success? And what can you find within yourself and something that's important to you down the road? Maybe it's walking your daughter or your son down the aisle. Maybe it's having the energy to play with your grandkids, whatever it may be. Maybe it's, you know, wanting to go and visit a friend that you haven't seen for a long time and having the energy to walk and talk and stroll with your furry pets. Whatever that why is, I just say, please do not make it about the scale or your size, put it inside your jeans. Yes. Yeah. The pursuit of the skinny jeans is the fastest path to depression, let me tell you. <laughs> so Petra, has your why always been the same? And tell us about some some of your whys you've had. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. No, I think it's changed. I was very lucky. I was I came into the world of fitness in the early nineties. So my why at that point, I was really excited. I was like so excited to move and I was teaching these this thing called aerobics and you know were, the classes were, we, were packed. Were we still doing like uh, bright neon colored leg warmers and big hair back then in the 90s? It was a little post that. It was just uh, part I was that. Say. We'd put the, yeah, we'd put the neon away, but we okay. still did have thongs. When the thongs were out there oh, with the scrunchy yes. socks. Yes. Yes. But <laughs> at, so I think when I first started, Lynn, my why was just, I was so excited about the whole industry. Mm. And then what happened for me personally is I became a fitness expert. I signed on with Reebok. I was traveling around the world. I was on VHS tapes. Don't judge. I was on TV. I was on the back of a special (laughs) K box and I don't share this to brag, but what happened is Lynn, I suddenly thought I needed to be an expert and know it all. Uh, So then my why became very limiting. My why was let's be perfect. Let's my why was like all about perfection and talk about taking the joy out of it and the freedom and the curiosity. And then as I got older and wiser, my why now is all about energy and mindset. 
Mm-hmm. I work from home. I live alone. I work for myself. And man, if I don't manage my body and my mind, I, I'm with myself. I would fire myself a hundred times over. So for me, it's all about really it's focus. It's having a um, clear mind, a clear heart. And I actually move my body so my mind can become still. Mm-hmm. It, so it, my whys are continually changing. Continue. I love that. And, and you're right now in a, in Manhattan, right? Is that the right word? Or, is, or is, if you're from Manhattan is the way we say it here. But that's yep. the way you say it. Okay. <laughs> Unless you're like, you're not from around here. Um, and so you've been quarantined for six weeks now in a Manhattan studio or f- flat? Or- I'm, I have the luxury. I have a one bedroom, which for a single person in New York on the Upper West Side is quite a treat. And though, Lynn, they, they have kept the parks open, thank goodness, because okay. they Good. know, the governor knows that we're yeah. in like, you know, you have families with four kids yeah. in a one bedroom or a two bedroom. If we didn't get out, the, the what would happen would be worse than the, the yeah. pandemic. So yeah. I get out every morning or in the evening, take a walk to the river, get out in nature. And that's my why. My why is to remember remember that nature never stops my why is to remember that we're going to come out of this on the other side hopefully better not better hopefully emboldened and more curious and more courageous so my why right now honestly is get out in nature and just notice the moments that are normal in this very um strange times that was an aha for me. I didn't even think about that. That just your your mo your why can flip on a dime and be very very compelling. Of like I need to get out of this <laughs> this apartment and get outside. Wow, fascinating. Well, folks, I hope that you take some time to think more about what your why is, and maybe something Petra said today helps you dial that in a little bit more closely. And Petra. Tell folks, remind them if they haven't, didn't do this from the last episode, your Confidence Catalyst program. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, again, it's it's again, it's having the confidence to trust your own why, right? Not mm-hmm. not the why everyone tells you you should be having. You know, have the why of looking great and eating perfectly, and no, what the what is the why? I call it the whisper that was placed on your heart. So that is just petrakolbe.com, P-E-T-R-A-K-O-L-B-E-R.com forward slash confidence. If you'd like to pop over and see if it's a fit for you and your life at this moment in time. Mm-hmm. And one thing, folks, Petra won't say is. Everybody loves Petra. And so <laughs> I'm a little nervous telling you to go over there because then you're going to just, yeah, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we like to have fun here. All right, folks. Uh, thanks so much again for listening. Thank you, Petra, for being here a second time. And check out her program. Uh, this will be in the show notes on the app or on anywhere that you listen. And we'll see you same time tomorrow. Bye bye now. <laughs> Exercise should not be dreadful, but getting off the couch is the hardest thing we do. And so Couch to Active has an all new website to match our all new world we live in now. Head over to couchtoactive.com and finish step number one today. Did you know that Couch to Active has an app? It's the easiest way to keep track of and follow the Couch to Active podcast. So head on over to your app store, and it doesn't matter whether you're on an iPhone, a tablet, or an Android device. Search for Couch to Active, that's T-O Active, download the app, and check it out. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now.